Hi there, it's me again, your Lavanya. We are continuing our discussion on Thiruvarut Payan, verse number 24. Andralavi, Ulloliyodu, Avi Edai Adangi, Indralavum Nindradu Irul. We have been talking about the quality or the characteristics of something that is totally hiding the knowledge and the intellect of the soul which we called it as arnava so we have already been talking about this this one particular element called as arnava and how it is encapsulating this soul in such a way that the soul is not even able to realize that its original characteristic is to be happy and to achieve the happiness or the blissful state now in today's verse our guru is explaining one more information actually he's detailing one by one if you look at it right the information that is revealed to us is one step at a time right and it's quite interesting if you look at this he says if you look at around us soul when we were in total darkness that's what if you remember we were talking about one of the technical term called as kevala nilai kevalam means full darkness so the soul was in complete darkness there was uh, no hope of light at all and it was encapsulated by this particular entanglement which is called as arnavam arnavam is full darkness it was like a shell that covered the soul completely and it never let it's like if you imagine an egg right there is a shell around that and the quality of the shell is to make sure that it doesn't take anything called as happiness now what our almighty did was he started showing his graceful bliss on us that started to a little by little i mean of course we we were inside the shell right so we can't really absorb everything so what he started doing is he started sharing this bliss with us he started showing his love his grace towards us what happened because of that is the soul started maturing little by little as an example you can look at a seed potted in a plant after a while you will see the seedling coming out that's exactly an example we were in total darkness and when the uh, when the climate or you know the soil whatever you are talking about when the entire environment is just nice just ready the seed started sprouting which is nothing but the soul that is when the almighty gave this body gave the entire pleasure that we are going through right now the earth and everything he gave us everything including this physical body when he had given that that to us it was such a wonderful uh, experience why did he give us this not to just be immersed in this uh, kind of a world this is not our life this is not our journey he gave us this to realize this is not our journey and our journey is beyond this which is to reach the almighty so what happened is right now after he had given this body after he had given all the uh, products around us which is we call it as the physical body our sense organs which is internal the sense organs the third one is all the wor- worldly pleasures that we are going through right now and also the feeling that we are enjoying when we are taking up the the effect of the of of the, the pleasure ra- rather the pleasure that we are uh, enjoying using all these uh, products around us or the basically the entire world so when we eat a fruit that is basically one of the pleasure we are going through when we are uh, seeing a nice flower that is a pleasure we are going through who gave us this everything was given to us by almighty now if you look at it the omnipotent the omnipresent has given us all these why did he give this because he wanted to make us realize that there is something called as darkness which is hiding you in reaching this, this is basically like a hindrance for you to achieve me be aware of that get rid of it that is what he's trying to teach us every single minute every single second every single nanosecond every experience we are going through why do you think we are going through that experience it is not for fun it is not for going through a pain 
but of course to understand that the reason behind this birth, the reason behind the suffering, the be reason behind this enjoyment is to say this is not permanent. Get to something which is really, really permanent, which is going to be the blissful state. Now, what is stopping us in reaching or realizing that there is a blissful state is this particular element called as Arnavam. When did it come to us? There is no date for it. When is it going to go away from us? There is no date for it because one of the attribute of the soul is this Arnavam which is always with us. Only thing we can do is keep it under control and can we do it with our own initiative no we cannot do that so we need the 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 almighty's blessings and his effort to keep this arnavam under control and not under our control under his control rather that is what today's verses is also trying to verse is also trying to emphasize i'll come back again with the next verse very soon until then bye bye